welcome to the second presentation of integration here we're going to learn some term uh, symbols phrases related to the process of integration especially indefinite integration all right uh, while while doing integration while learning integration you'll see uh, these kinds of stuff uh, let's say th this is symbol of integration and this is the function all right uh, and times dx so now this whole thing you know this the whole thing that I uh, covered in yellow color this is called uh, integral of f with respect to x because here you can see with respect to x all right and here this particular function f of x is called integrand all right it is called integrand whose integration we're going to find out okay and uh, here this particular uh, let me do with the right one this x is called it's called a variable of integration variable of integration and uh, so many times you will see uh, you know, after doing uh, integration you will you'll put a plus C and this plus C represent actually the constant of integration all right constant of integration and uh, we assume this like some 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 constant function right every time after after integrating you must have to uh, do the plus C all right let me give you an example. Uh, let's say uh, I'm going to find out the div of let's say x square with respect to x. All right. Here uh, x square is already a derivative of something. Let's say it's a, a function f prime of x is x square here. So the same thing can be written something like this: derivative of f prime of x with respect to dx. Now you know uh, to find the integration of this x square. You know what does it mean? Uh, that derivative of this is derivative of what means x square dx is derivative is derivative of of uh, of what what is that function you know what here represent a function keep in mind this represents a function what is that function whose derivative is x square so we need to find out that and uh, we have learned very well that in 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 power rule if it is x to the power n and if you're going to differentiate this with respect to x then it is n times x to the power n minus 1 so what I'm doing I'm writing here derivative of x to the power n alright and now n times x to the power n minus 1 and I'm just shifting this dx here alright so it will be dx and now see I have here this stuff means derivative of x to the power n is n times x to the power n minus 1 so I need to find out whose derivative is x squared dx alright so x to the power n minus 1 uh, here x to the power n minus 1 is here our x square and we have already here dx and the value of n we don't know for a while uh, so so from here just by by guessing you can say you know by comparing you can guess that when uh, when it is n here is n minus 1 when it is uh, uh, 4 it will be 4 minus 1 when it will be 3 it will be 3 minus 1 that is 2 so if it is n minus 1 it is n so if it is 2 if it, it, it should be 3 you know when it is 3 it should be 1 less 2 you got it and and if it is so then the same number will be here also all right dx cube will be now 3 times x square times dx you, you just see the sequence all right x to the power n then n x to the power n minus 1 did you get that it's 3 then 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 this this 2 can be represented as 3 minus 1 also you know so uh, I just uh, I didn't write as a 3 minus 1 I just write here uh, x to the power 2 now but in ours uh, I mean in our expression here in our integration process uh, we don't have this 3 you know so x squares uh, uh, representative uh, function we need to find out whose whose derivative is x square I mean whose functions derivative is x square we need to find out so uh, we're not going to get masked exactly so what I'm going I'm just trying to multiply this by 3 all right 3x square times dx integration and I'm going to divide this by 3 as well all right so 1 by 3 integration 3x square times dx okay so now in next step uh, 1 by 3 integration 3x square times dx okay so see here uh, now I just got you know 3x square dx 3x square dx 3x square times dx is the derivative of x cube as I told you that integration is just a reverse process of finding derivative means x cube has derivative 3x square then integration of 3x square will be 
x cube just opposite process so it's 1 by 3 and 3x squared times dx is the uh, is the derivative of x cube so it is x cube and I was talking about this guy constant every time you have to put this constant after the integration I was trying to find out the integration of x square and now I finished it uh, till here so I must have to put this constant after the completion of the whole process you must have to put that constant all right keep in mind that I was talking about this thing let, let me give you one more example now you know this means uh, derivative of what derivative of what is uh, this 2x derivative of what what is that function you know what is that function that gives the derivative 2x okay so again from the uh, from the from the power rule that we learned just just here you know just here we learned uh, so we have here the derivative is here 2x you know we have here 2x and times uh, dx okay here we have so if here is if here is power 1 then it will be 1 plus here it should be x to the power 1 plus 1 because if it is n one less is here if it is 1 so one more should be here you know so directly I'm writing here x2 all right and d uh, right simple I don't have to write uh, below dx square so dx square has derivative 2x I find out so what I'm gonna do now you know see uh, derivative of x square is 2x dx and since integration is just reverse process of derivative if it is derivative then integration of these things will be this all right so directly I'll write here now x square simply and nothing more than that and always put here constant that's it we'll be talking more about this integration process in the next video I will give you a lot of tricks uh, you know a lot of methods to find the integration faster and faster and many type of the integration we need to learn uh, first we'll be dealing with indefinite type of the integration later we'll uh, learn about the finite integration okay so I'll see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.